Hi everyone, it's Mark from Brave Auto International in Japan. Before I do the uh, road test video, I'll just do a walk around and tell you a bit about this one. This one's uh, fairly uh, fairly special, I suppose, or fairly rare. This is a AutoZam AZ1, and it is um, it's actually made by it's sold via Mazda, but it's actually made by Suzuki. Um, it's got a 660cc three-cylinder engine. They're turbocharged and they produce I think it's 64 horsepower which is the max for that class anyway. Uh, it has a special feature which I'll show you in a second. I'll just go around it like I am at the moment. These are coming quite collectible now and um, this has been bought out of auction for a customer in um, the USA. So it will be heading off there later this year. Uh, we're storing it for free until it's actually old enough to go. So, Okay, uh, the special feature they have is door handles under here and the door goes up like that. quite cool it's definitely a um, I don't know a showstopper okay and obviously the other door on the other side does the same so the gas struts on it are really good as you can see they're actually raising it by themselves holding it up Okay, uh, it's got aftermarket alloys on it, as you can see, um, the alloys aren't in the best condition, if you just look at the lip around the outside here, it's just um, got like corrosion type, okay, um, I'd actually get them repaired if it was me, because the alloys are actually quite nice and they actually suit it. Okay, you've got an intake here because the engine's actually in the rear okay and a lot of people think this here is an intake for an intercooler which it isn't it's actually uh, the intake for getting air into the car okay so I'll show you that in a minute okay while I've got these up um, you've got these shades that come off so just turn that Okay, and then it has, which is up the right way, AZ1 written on them, which you can see through the glass. Let's put that back. They're very easy to take off and put on. Okay, um, just go around the other side. Just show you the interior from the side. Okay, the spare sits there, it's behind that cover. Okay, a bit of luggage room here because it's actually your only space for putting stuff. You've got fixed um, seats and the aspect they move back and forwards but they don't recline. And actually quite comfy. Just need a light clean. Okay, you've got the factory, original factory floor mats. Okay. I'll just put this door down. Okay, this is actually the side glass, or well, the window that goes up and down. It's a manual, so it's only this piece here. Okay, obviously your door lock is here. Okay. Okay, they have a single wiper. Okay, we'll have a look in the... Uh, the boot and the engine bay. Okay, well the boot's the front piece here. And pull that down there, it opens up the back. Okay, we'll have a look in the front first, which is, I don't know, boot or whatever. Okay, you can't fit anything in there. Okay, basically it just holds the jack. 
and that's about it. And that air intake, that's it there, so that draws air into the car, you know, for the heater and all that type of stuff. Has um, air con. Okay, your wiper washer bottle. Okay, so that's in there. We'll just go around the back. Let's balance this on my head for a second. Okay. So that's basically where the engine sits. It's kind of a, almost a mid-mount. Because um, as you can see, you've got the space here. So it's, it's quite far back. It's actually, the engine, if, if you can see, actually sits under here. Okay. Okay, it's got a strut brace, which will be aftermarket. That won't be original. Uh, electronic petrol injection. Clean and tidy in there. Okay, and you've still got all the original stuff underneath the, the uh, lid here. Okay, we'll drop this down. Okay, they have AutoZam written on the metal plate at the back there. Okay, you've got some grills on the top here which just lets the heat out from the engine bay. They have a single, sorry single, roof mounted aerial. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but the dash is perfect on it. Okay, inside. Okay, the driver's seat's just got a little bit of sagging here, but it's only minor. There's no, the good thing is there's no tears or anything. Okay, and just the seats need a bit of a clean again on the side. I won't jump in, I'll just sit on the side here, because she's a bit of an art to get in and out. It's right if you're um, five foot tall and 60 kgs, but me at uh, just under six foot and 95 kgs, she's a bit of a climb in and out. Okay, you've got an aftermarket steering wheel with auto zam written in the middle. It, I'm, I'm not sure, this may be original actually, I, I can't remember. So, got the white dials, 39 Ks. Okay, you've got the air con there, stereo there, five speed gearbox. Okay, we'll just fire it up. Okay, you've got a turbo timer which is aftermarket down there. Okay, got a service sticker there with the next service is due. You've also got a service sticker here, it's never been used. This is from the factory. And what normally what you do is you blank out the white parts of the of the service. And that's actually nice to see this. And it's never been used as well. That's all original and just nice. And the other thing that's good as well is come here, it's still got the pull up sticker. You see, when these have been painted, um, you know, from scratches and all that, some stage during their lives, the painters never put the stickers back on or, you know, obtain new stickers. So this thing's actually carrying most of its original paint. Okay, it's got a little bit of a scuff there on the front bumper, down the bottom, but that's, um, yeah, that's easy fix that. And just these mirrors have faded a bit. Um, you can probably bring them up. Okay. So she's idling away there. It's 
give her a couple of revs. Okay. Okay, I'll just drop the door down again. Just admire it. They come in a few different colours, blue. Uh, I think they come in a white as well. The red and the grey is actually the most common colour of them. Okay guys, what we'll do is I'll hook the camera up inside and we'll um, take it for a bit of a squirt and see what it goes like. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay everyone, we'll get underway with this one. Okay, during the road test what I'm doing is just making sure the gearbox is right, the car is not overheating, it's, when it's turbo vehicles it's boosting as it should, um, just your general road test, you know, make sure there's no loud suspension noises. Um, as I mentioned in the walk around, this, this is a little bit tight for me, but um, I don't know if you can see in the camera my legs over here, and um, you know, it's like driving alright, just um, don't want to be in it for too long, that's all. So anyway, just turn the aircon on. She's rather hot today. Just wind the window down a little bit on this side as well. Just wait for it to get a little bit of warmth into it. I've already driven the vehicle. I drove it as soon as it came uh, from the auction, um, which is what we do with all the vehicles. We do a proper road test, which is different to what I'm doing now. This is just for YouTube, this thing. You can hear the um, turbo sprawling up. Not a bad car, actually. So like I say, I've got the aircon on, so I've dropped from 64 horsepower down to 24. So, turn it off now and I've got 64 again probably. I like the radio, even though it's old fashioned, it just um, goes to the error of the car. You can actually drive these with the door up as well. I've seen I don't know, a couple of times actually over the years someone driving past with one with the door open, you know. Don't know why you would, but you can do it. Got these really little um, sun visors up here, eh? It's quite, um, I don't know. Oops. Cute, I suppose, is the word. Um, there's no power steering, but these are as light as a um, feather anyway, so. You know, they rev up to, the gauge goes up to um, 11,000 revs, it won't do 11,000. Um, you know, red line's at 9, so 9, or the red line starts from 9, so, um, you know, they're quite a screeny engine. You know, this is only revving it up to six. You know, they get up and go, you know, it's fourth gear. 
fifth gear. I won't say what I'm doing, what speed I'm doing, because I'm over the speed limit, but you know they do quite well. So that's to eight and a half. Like when you say to someone, um, you know, my car is 64 horsepower, they kind of laugh at you, but I can tell you now, this would give some cars, some normal cars, a, a run for their money. Probably embarrass them, actually. You know, up and down the gears, it's fine. There's no um, crunching, so you know the synchros are good. I tell you what, they're, they're quite torquey as well. I'm quite surprised. Like, I, I, obviously, I don't drive these very often. We don't, you know, we don't export, um, you know, AZ ones every week or month or every six months you know it's these are quite rare but, so i don't get to drive them that much but i'm really surprised on how talky it is yeah. oh, this is nice i'd love to get it on a um Love to get it on a racetrack, you know, and just have a go on a track with it. It's like a supercharged sewing machine. Okay, coming back up to the office now. Okay, everyone that was your Mazda AZ or AutoZam AZ1 which is sold via Mazda but it's actually made by Suzuki okay uh, see you next time thanks guys